You're welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we want to reproduce a figure that is displayed on the screen, and that is a, an exhaust pipe gasket. So we're using the principle of tangency in order to what reproduce that figure. Now, the first thing you do in order to reproduce the figure is to draw your horizontal line this way. Can see that make it more visible. That's the first thing you do. Then the next thing you do is to draw your center line this way, your vertical line, and they are meeting at this point here. Now, if you look at this diagram, we're told that from this point to this point. That is the diameter of that bigger circle and it's given as 116. Now take half of it, which is what 58. So placing my compass on my rule and I'm measuring 58, which is what we have here. Right? And I'm going to place it at this point in order to get the arc, the circle that I want. But I'll use faint line first of all. See that? So that is the circle that we have there. Is that taken? Now the next thing that I am going to do here is that the others from this point to this point is the diameter of the inner circle and that is 88. But I need 44 in order to get that point. So I'm going to measure 44. From here to this point here. Given as what 44. So when I place it here, I'm going to draw the inner circle. But this time, I am going to take in it. You can see that now. If you look at it closely, this is the center of the circle. Now, towards the left side, we are told to get the other center. Of the other two circles at the sides, you're going to move a distance of 72 millimeters to the left and also 72 millimeters to the right. Right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to measure 72 millimeter on my meter rule. There is 72 here. Right? And then uh, I'll place it here. I'll mark 72 to the left, 72 to the right. So that point you see will be the center of those two circles at the sides of the figure. And the radius of the circle, this particular one here, this external one, is 21. Right? So I'm going to measure 21. So this is from here. This is 21 here. And I'll place it at this point. I'm going to draw a circle, but it will be a faint line, first of all. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. And the same thing too. You can see that? Now, the next one is the inner circle. And at this point here, you see, I'm doing it for both sides because of what the figure is what is symmetrical, right? What I mean symmetrical is this. If I divide this figure, as you can see on the screen, if I divide it into two, you discover that what is on my left hand side, just like you can see, is equal to what's on my right hand side. I hope you can see that. So if I divide it into half, what is up on top? Is also equals to what is what below so that is why we say that this is symmetrical vertically and also what horizontally so whatever measurement i use on the right hand side i will use it on the left hand side whatever measurement i use at the top i'm going to use that word at the bottom is that taken so since this is this other circle here is um, we are giving 25 diameter two off means both 
the left hand side and right hand side in a circle we give us 25 millimeter diameter so i'll take half of it which is 12.5 so i'm going to measure half of it 12.5 so this is 10 11 12.5 right that is 12.5 and i'm going to place it at the center here and i'll draw taking it and I'll come here to I'll do the same thing too. This is what we have here. Now if you look at it, there's an arc that are touching this circle and this circle, as you can see in the diagram in the four sides, and this arc are since they are going in, right? Look at the way it's going in. It means that the circle connecting both of them is external, right? It's an external circle. And I say whenever it's an external circle, you need to add the radiuses. So I'm going to start adding. For the bigger circle, I'm going to add the radius of the circle, which is giving us 58 for 116, plus the radius of the arc, which is 33 here. And that will give me, when you have, um, that will give me 91. So taking 58 plus 3 will give us 91. So I'm going to measure 91 on my meter rule from 0 this way from 0 straight down towards 91 here. Are we good? And I'll place it at this point. So since I say it's symmetrical, I will strike up this way. I'll also strike down this way. I'll come to the left, also up, and also come to the down, also down. This is the first stage. Now the second stage is that the other smaller circle has a radius of what 21, which you can see here. And I'm going to add it also to the radius of that circle, which is 21. Those rows of the arc connecting the circle, which is what 33, and that will give me we have um 54. So I'm going to measure 54 on my meter rule from here to this point here. This is 54, All right? So I'll place it at the center here. I'll strike an arc that will cut up, cut down, come here, cut up. And cut down. Is that okay? So each of these points where the circle intersects this is giving us my center of the circle that is connecting these two circles. So I'm going to give it until I have what I want. Can I see that? So when you are working with this, you have to be very careful. Make sure your measurement is accurate. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. Connect this to this. Then, go to this point also. I'll connect this to this. So I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing on that point. You can see that now the next thing is I'm not taking the entire circle from this point. Also here too. I'm 
right also here too also here too So that so this is the Azos pipe gasket. So the next thing I'll just do is to draw my dimension. So we have successfully reproduced the figure. So if you have found the video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thanks for watching